Hey guys, this is Jason. Um, one last final video um, for the Brusa and everything. Uh, can control is now working and working beautifully thanks to Greg and he implemented uh, full can control for the Brusa. So now it's talking and the leaf is controlling uh, it along with the shut off and the amount of um, amperage that you can control through it and it's fully variable and uh, it'll start up and shut down and everything and along with the leaf. You can go out and um, grab onto the handle, push in the button and it shuts off immediately and everything. So Greg's done a wonderful job and um, I believe that he is implementing the code into his Leaf DD unit so that it will also do the same thing. So if you want to, or if you already have a Leaf DD unit and you plan on adding the Brusa, you will have that ability to do this. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm just sitting here in the car and it is just, the Leaf's just charging on its own right now. And then if you go to the Brusa page, it's pretty easy see what he's done uh, right now um, he's put in here about two it's so he shows the line voltage 237 volts um, put in a function or the ability to read the opacity of the EVSE whatever's plugged into the car so we know so I have a 31 or actually 32 amp EVSE I guess is what my unit's capable of or what I have it dialed into It'll do more, but that's what I have it cranked to right now. And then um, our shutoff voltage right below the 31 is 400 volts, is what we max out at. The 377.5 is what the leaf is currently at. And then you see the 8.7, or actually, this is what the leaf is currently being injected with. And then over here, this 2.0, this is what we're going to be engaging the Brusa with. As soon as we touch this, we get this little bar right here. So this right now shows that the Brusa is kicked in. And as you can see, the amperage being injected to the leaf is going is instantly gone up. So as I hit this, you'll notice that this right here, this 2.0, will start going up. And as I click this, at 4 amps, the amperage going into the leaf goes higher. Now. I don't know if you heard the fan on the Brusa kick in. Basically, that's the amperage from the EVSE, so um, not being injected into the Brusa. Uh, from I'm sorry, the Brusa going into the leaf, not the DC amps, but the AC amps. So that's coming out from the EVSE. So we're requesting eight amps from the EVSE. There's ten amps. 12 amps, 14 amps, 16 amps max would be about eight and a half, almost nine amps. But the Brusa is a little inefficient at full power, 91%. So it puts out about eight, eight and a half amps. Um, as you can see, I got about 235 volts. And um, we're injecting almost 18 amps into it. And um, that's about it. If you wanted just to cycle it over again, you just click it and it'll drop right back down to 2 amps. And you notice the amperage goes right back down. And again, it's fully automatic. The leaf is controlling everything. So when the leaf shuts off, the Brusa shuts off also. It tapers down, the Brusa goes down as well. That's pretty much about it. Uh, we. We are, I say we may make some changes. Uh, Greg may implement a few more little tweaks and changes that we've been talking about. But for right now, this is working beautifully. And um, I did run it through the firewall. And um, so it looks all nice and tidy. But again, um, I know that Jeremy and a few others want to tap off right underneath the front plate design. But the um, only thing I don't like about that, again, is how to make it watertight. You'd probably have to add another cable gland up front and um, the only thing I don't like about that is the way that um, I've designed the plate now and everything I can get everything off within under 15 minutes and it's completely stock if you tie on to the can high and low lines up front um, Nissan would can complain that there are 
connections that have been hacked up front. This just plugs into the ODB port, you pull out, and that's it. The car is completely stock, nothing's been done, and it's nice and neat. So, anyways, that's pretty much about it. So, everything is all set, and I'm just going to crank up here and charge because I'm a little low. I'm going to let this thing go to town, and um, that's about it. Actually, I'm not in any rush right now. I'm going to take off in an hour or so. Um, I'm going to let this go full bore here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's been a fun project, as Greg said also. Um, and we're going to do some more tweaks. I know uh, quite a few of you have ordered for plates. I got a couple of plates built, ones for Jeremy. I don't know if anybody else wants a couple, but I do know that I got five or five or seven on order and um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, can control is fully working. And that's about it. Take care, guys. See ya.